Hi guys, if you are new here, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my July beauty favourites as well as my lifestyle random type favourites. I cannot believe it is August. It makes me very, very excited because, you know, Halloween is coming, Christmas is coming. I know we're a little far off yet, but the second half of the year to me is always the most fun. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I've discovered a lot of fun new products this month, both makeup and just like I've got a ton of music favourites since last month. I forgot my music favourites. Somebody actually asked did you not like any music you forgot your favorites so this month I have a ton to make up for it I'm gonna start off with brush favorites because I usually don't have a ton of brush favorites and this month I have quite a few actually the first one is this double-ended brush this one's from it cosmetics it is the heavenly luxe complexion perfection number seven it has an all over side and then a concealed side I picked this up at Sephora Australia and it is just so damn soft it's dense enough to actually get some product on there, but not so dense that you feel like you're not actually doing anything. You can kind of stipple, you can sort of buff, you can swipe, you can do whatever and it feels amazing. I love it. And that's just really convenient to have the concealer end and you can kind of use this for under eyes, you can use it just for spot concealing. It's just a really convenient brush. The other surprise love is this set from Sigma. It's Sigma Tech Essentials Set. It says that they're high performance synthetic fibers engineered to outperform traditional animal hair. And I think they may have been sort of responding to a little bit of competition on the market. Sigma has been one of those brands that has been sort of well known by all YouTubers for beauty brushes. And then Zoeva's come along and all these other like the Japanese brands have really taken off. And I think they've had to up their game and they have done it. I didn't expect to love this set as much as I do. This tapered face brush, um, even this duo fiber brush, it reminds me a little bit of the MAC, um, I think it's the 130 brush. Anyway, amazing. So, so soft. I've been really enjoying this one here. This is the Soft Blend and Conceal. This little one here that comes in the set, it's the Winged Liner EO6, is my new favorite for Winged Liner. It is an angled brush, but it is the smallest angled brush I have ever, ever come across. And it's just, it makes winged eyeliner with gel so easy. Love it, love it, love it. Even this one here, this is the Small Tapered Blending Brush. Great for, I just so so soft not scratchy at all really really impressed with that entire set if you're looking to get some new brushes from Sigma give them a look because I kind of when I got it I was like mm, what what is going to be special about this then I use them and I, I've been basically using them non-stop my first makeup favorite of the month probably has to go to a brand and that is not going to be surprising it's Charlotte Tilbury I have just become obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury makeup of late I recently filmed a haul and a tutorial using some of her products I don't know which order they'll go up in so um, if they're not up yet I'll definitely link them in the description box when they are if you haven't already seen them but really really just I've been adoring all her products uh, some things that come to mind I've really been liking the airbrush flawless finish face powder really just softly milled gorgeous powder there I've been really enjoying the pillow talk lip cheat this has been my go-to sort of lip color of late it's just a gorgeous nudie pink shade I can use it with other products I can use it on its own really really like the formulation of these I picked up the lipstick in bitch perfect I mean the packaging alone deserves a favorite but I really like this it's like a, a warm neutral pink shade really really great for work which is kind of the makeup that I do the most. I work five days a week and have to sort of have an office appropriate look and that lipstick is amazing. I've even been enjoying the foundation. I mix it with my Cover FX custom cover drops to get more, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? More coverage, but I really like the finish of this. It's like a glowy, natural kind of look. Next, I have a couple of blush favorites. These ones are from Milani. I did an order from Beauty Joint kind of midway through the month and I've always loved Milani blushes but trying more shades has just really like cemented my love of these they are amazing they're inexpensive you can only kind of get them online here in Australia but it's worth making the online purchase new all-time favorite is Terra Soul which is number four this is like a gorgeous kind of that brownie rose shade it almost looks a bit like a bronzer but like a pinkened bronzer if that makes sense on the cheeks, it looks great with neutral looks. It looks great with really bold looks. It's one of those blushes that will just, I don't know, suit all looks. Even if I don't want to wear bronzer, if I'm going for a really quick look, I can put this on my cheeks and it kind of gives me that hybrid of bronzer and blush in one. Fantastic. New favorite. Absolutely love it. 
And then I've tried for the first time one of the powder blushes. These are the baked blushes. This is the powder blushes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, like, packaging. And then the rose petal kind of finish that they have here. Great for, like, a drugstore brand. And this shade here is called Romantic Rose Number no. 01. This is just a gorgeous, soft, neutral pink shade. I have a new mascara favorite. I recently did a video on talking about my top five mascaras and a whole heap of favorites of mine. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it here. Definitely check it out so you can get some more mascara recommendations. But since I hauled this, I decided to open it because so many people said that they loved it. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I know why they love it. It's a really great mascara. It has a sort of asymmetrical kind of curved uh, rubber bristle brush and I find that it's a really great daytime mascara. It gives you a lot of kind of length and separation to your lashes. Great for both top and, and lower lashes. It, I don't know, it gives you like a defined but soft look if that makes sense at all. I really like this for daytime for work. Um, it's just, it's a really nice mascara. My previous addiction to concealers seems to have moved on to foundations, which is not a great thing because having a ton of foundations, I mean, you've only got one face. There's only so many foundations that you can use each day. I mean, you can only use one each day, really. Maybe two if you want to mix them together, but I have a new love. This is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. I first saw this used probably at least over a year ago by Casey Holmes and I kind of undenied about buying it because it is a formulation made specifically for I think it's supposed to be sort of dark Asian skin or like Middle Eastern skin. People who have that kind of tan skin naturally, olive skin, which I mean, I have those undertones when I get tanned in the summertime, but right now I'm fairly pale. I got the shade F100, which is the lightest shade that they do, and what I've been doing for the moment is actually mixing it with a little bit of my Face Atelier uh, Pro Ultra Foundation in uh, Zero Minus, the white foundation, just to lighten it up a little bit, and this makes a really, really nice foundation. It, it gives you a ton of coverage, but while still looking really natural on the skin, it feels really light. It has a slight dewiness to it, not anything crazy. It just gives you that natural look. It's not too matte. It's not too dewy. It's really comfortable. I feel like I've already said that, but if you can get the shade, I know there's only, I think, five shades in the range and they do sway dark, but if you can find a shade that matches or you can mix it with a shade to make it match, I definitely think it's worth trying out. And it was really inexpensive as well. I think I got mine off Look Fantastic. I'm pretty sure I'll link where to get it from in the description box below for you guys. If you're a fake tanning girl and you are trying to get a foundation to match your sort of fake tan undertones, then I think this would be worth looking at as well. Last couple of makeup favorites. One is from MAC. It is the Groundwork Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I bought this on a whim. Somebody wrote a blog post about this recently and I can't remember who, but um, they were talking about it being, it might have been Anna from Viviana Does Makeup. She mentioned this as like a, just a great one step sort of eyeshadow look and I just decided to pick it up and she's right it's just a really nice like taupey brown shade really easy to wear underneath as like a base or on its own I haven't bought a paint pot in forever I don't even own soft ochre I know I'm like I'm going to anger the YouTube beauty gods for not owning soft ochre but I don't um, but I do think this one's worth picking up. And then my other eye favorite is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I'm calling this one early. I've only had it for about a week or a week and a half of the month of July, but it's pretty freaking fantastic. It has all matte shades here. You have a mixture of warm and cool tones. I find that I can use this on the face as well as on the eyes. Like I can use this shade to contour and this shade to sort of set underneath my eyes and to highlight a little bit. Um, Really, really nice sort of creamy formula, easily blendable. Just overall impressed with this palette. I have a highlighter favorite. I almost forgot about this one before I give you my lip product favorite. This is the Laura Mercier Highlighter 01 Matte Radiance Baked Powder. What can I say about this product? It is a gorgeous satin finish highlighter. It, I'm just gonna pop a teeny tiny bit on my cheeks just because I don't have a ton of highlighter on at the moment. It gives you your skin that kind of satiny sheen without being overly shimmery or overly obvious. I feel like you can use it as a highlighter in more areas of your face than you can with your more intense shimmery highlight. I can kind of dust this all through the center of my face and 
on like sort of the whole sort of cheekbone area and it's just when I catch the light I'll get this slight sheen into my skin it just makes your skin look heavenly that's the word I'm gonna use it makes your skin look heavenly and then my last makeup favorite probably my main favorite of the entire month is the Kat Von D liquid everlasting liquid lipstick in Lolita yeah, what can I say about this one? This I have been wearing basically non-stop. When I can't think of what to wear, I wear this. I am so close to buying a backup of this just because I'm scared of what I'm going to do when it runs out. I've only had it for this month, but it is amazing. It is a matte, mauvey brown shade. It does set like to a matte finish, but it's not as drying as a lot of the other matte like finish lip liquid lipsticks are. It is a bit drying but it's nowhere near as much. It feels really thin and comfortable on the lips and the colour is amazing. I have been told that there's different batches of this and that they kind of vary in colour. I remember when I first saw this on Nikki Tutorials I thought it looked a little bit more mauvey and then apparently before that it even was a bit more pink and now it's more of like a pink and brown shade but either way it is stunning. This is probably the most recent batch so if you go out and buy it now it's probably getting going to be this color. If you can get to Sephora Australia, do it. They've just announced a new one. It's going to be opening in Melbourne soon. So hopefully there'll be more of you guys who'll be able to have access to Kat Von D here. But it's an amazing, amazing lip product. Okay, they were all my makeup favorites. I feel like I was really ravey in the start of this part of the video, but I've just, I've been really enjoying these products. I do have a skincare range that's a favorite of this month. It pains me to say because of how expensive the brand is, but it proves that spending a bit of money on your skincare really can make a difference. It's the MV Orca Organic Skincare for Radiant Health. I picked this up on cultbeauty.co.uk and this was a little travel set that comes with the uh, Gentle Cream Cleanser. You also get the Rose Hydrating Mist. This is heavenly. I love it. And then you finish off with the Rose Soothing Protective Moisturizer for all skins plus sensitive. That's what they all say. If you're looking for just a great skincare sort of range, just a cleanser and a moisturizer and that amazing hydrating water mist and you have a little bit of extra money to spend, then I definitely think it's worth checking out because my skin just felt hydrated and soft when I was finished. I didn't feel like there was no... Um, no extra sensitivity, it didn't feel dried out at all, it didn't feel tight, it just felt nourished. I hope that makes sense. Okay, moving on over to my more random, more lifestyle favourites of the month. The first is some jewellery. These rings are from Topshop. I got them in a set, I think they're about $17, and I just think they're really, really fun. I love sort of mixing and matching the different shapes, having some midi rings, having sort of a thumb ring. They're just they're really, really cool. I feel cool wearing them. I have a food favorite this month. I know it is winter, but I have been in love with this ice cream. This is the Peter's Light and Creamy Choc Caramel and Vanilla Swirl, and I've just got hair on it. Yuck. Um, it's kind of all wet because I just grabbed it out of the freezer, but this is delicious. It is amazing. I really want it right now. Should I just show you? I've eaten a fair bit of it because it is amazing. If you like chocolate, caramel, and vanilla ice cream, then definitely check it out. Um, because it's like the light and creamy range, it's actually not too terrible with the calories if you don't eat too much. So it's like my little treat and I've been loving it. I have a tech favorite of the month. It's actually this. It is my marble decal that I got for my MacBook Pro. I got this on the website Unique Find and it has just made me fall in love with my laptop again. I love marble. Seriously, I love copper. It is still my number one, but marble is my very close second and I just, I really, really like this. If you're looking for them, I will link the website in the description box below. I do think that they do covers for your, your iPad and your iPhone and um, various different Macs, but it's just, it's such a fun little addition to my laptop. Before I finish up with book and song favorites, I did want to mention a couple of my favorite videos or channels. I said that last month that I would start including that in my favorites videos. And I have 
two. The first one is Hazel Hayes or Chewing Sand here on YouTube. She deserves so much more credit. She is hilarious. Her uh, June time of the month video was hilarious. She kind of does a collective vlog of different clips from the entire month and she, she does some amazing things. It's just the way it's put together is, is really, really fantastic. So definitely go subscribe to her channel. I think you'll enjoy her videos. And the other channel that I've been enjoying is Sugar Mama TV. She is based in Sydney, I believe, and she's a financial planner and has just started doing videos on sort of managing your money and how to get out of debt. And I really actually want to go see her as a financial planner. I should actually make an appointment, but she just has really inspired me by watching her videos to try and sort of pay attention to my money and where it's going and I have like a debt from my uni degree so I want to kind of pay that off and and look at how I spend and where I spend and have a budget and all that kind of stuff so she's been really inspiring I just can kind of binge watch her videos and I think if you're interested in that kind of thing then you should definitely check her out I will link her channel in the description box as well okay we're wrapping up this favorites video here my book favorite of the month I probably should have pulled up but I didn't so give me a second Okay, here it is. I decided to go with Matched by S.E. Hall and Angela Graham. This is kind of a reality show in a book. If you like The Bachelor kind of mixed with Big Brother, then I think you would like this. It's about a whole heap of sort of celebrities them and then another person of their choice get put in a house together and they all get matched with somebody who supposedly is their soulmate and basically they all have to work out who they think are like the perfect couples and it's not necessarily the person that they come with because some people bring boyfriends but some people just bring friends or roommates or siblings or it can be whoever and they do these challenges kind of again like your um Big Brother style or your Bachelor style, except they're all being matched together. Didn't necessarily think I would like it because of that, but I really did enjoy it. Once you kind of get into the characters, it is written from one person and there is like a love story there. Um, and once I decided who I wanted to get together, then I was happy. Then finally to finish up, I do have some music favorites as promised. There are a lot of them. The first one is Kelsey Ballerini. I think that's how you say her name. I've been loving her entire album the first time. She's kind of like an early Taylor Swift. If you like Taylor Swift back when, like the Taylor Swift album and the Fearless album, very, very similar kind of feel, kind of country, slightly pop with that with lyrics that really tell a story uh, my favorites on the album at the moment are yeah boy dibs and love me like you mean it but I really enjoy the entire album definitely worth checking out if you are a Taylor Swift fan I've also been really enjoying heartbreak dream by Betty who um, first by the Cold War Kids uh, why you wanna by Yana Kramer I think is how you say her name Title by Megan Trainer should have been us by Tori Kelly, and then I've also been really enjoying Sean Mendes, um, Stitches, The Weight, Aftertaste, uh, Don't Want Your Love. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Ed Sheeran, so if you like Ed Sheeran, maybe check out Sean Mendes. I, I I've been loving his stuff as well. So there is a whole heap of music recommendations. I will have them listed and linked in the description box below as well as all my other favorites. So if you guys want to check out the products, you can. And I'll have links to where you can buy and things like that. All my social media links are in the description box as well. So please come say hi. And if you are new and enjoyed this video, please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you just enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up my thumbs up with my cool thumb ring um it really does help me out i hope you guys have all had an awesome july and are looking forward to august and the future months ahead christmas i'm not gonna say that again it's a little bit early i know but if you're new you'll get used to the fact of how much i enjoy christmas and if you're not new then you will totally expect it from me oh i did also want to mention if you like the makeup on my face i do have a tutorial filmed it will probably go up after this video but look out for that so you can see how i got this look and that's it from me i'm gonna go hope you guys are all doing well and i'll see you all next time bye yeah boy i'm digging what you're doing yeah boy i'm trying to keep it cool but you're making it hard in your arms, we're wrapping me up tight